Dear Calendar Girl, Three years ago, I was approached by a young man who needed my help locating someone. I can't tell you why he even decided to search for her. But I suppose I should tell you what I do before I give you any further details. I'm a private detective with a specialty in love. In other words, I am you, only I don't fix relationships. I get paid to assist in breaking them apart. Please don't grill me on how I sleep at night. I don't. If you'd asked me several years prior, I would have told you that I had grown immune to the messy matters of the heart. Everyone has secrets. Some more concealed than others, but I've never had any trouble finding them out. I didn't have any issues keeping my distance from the case subject. I have a job to do, and that's how I treat all my clients, as an assignment. I hack into the systems I need to find the information that is pertinent to my case, follow whom I need to, and ask the right questions. I'm quick and efficient. This calendar girl, this time is different. I've been holding on to this file for longer than I care to admit. She was at the park, sitting on her tree, book in hand, smiling as she caressed the head of a sleeping little girl curled up in her lap. She couldn't have been any older than five. I was far enough away for the woman not to notice me, but close enough to see that the resemblance of the blissful ball of innocence was uncanny to her father. As I said before, I have been the last straw in a fractured marriage. The icing on a cake that fell apart long before I stepped in, but I cannot be the reason a happy home is broken. He has a right to know, but my question is, do I have a right to tell him? Sincerely, an interruption to everything. Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, first off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back to my little corner of the internet and to another episode of Calendar Girl. As we always get started, listen to her. She's in a good mood, guys. She's feeling so much better about herself since she broke it off with Adam. She did have a run in the other day and I played this off camera a little um, they were at the quad and if you remember she had joined his cooking class and she decided to go one day just out of the blue she didn't know that Adam was there all the time um, but she decided that she wanted to brush up on her skills and for Corey because Corey joined uh, because Corey has a gig um, or finally got a part in a movie as a cook at a, a chef at a five-star restaurant and Corey has no cooking skills. So uh, Meche decided to invite her and so they all three went together to this well they went to, to support Corey in her new endeavor because Corey doesn't know anything about the kitchen and she needed those skills but I digress. Um, Adam was there and they basically pretended like neither one of them was um in the room it was a little awkward it made things awkward the entire time but uh, for everyone that was in the cooking class but who cares harmony was like i don't care i don't have anything to say to him he left me standing in his house 
um, with no explanation. And I tried to talk to him multiple times and he just wasn't, he wasn't hearing it. And, um, oh, well, she gave him a chance. Anyways, you can see that I've made some changes to the apartment. Everything has come together. Yep. We've got little pieces here and there. Of course, I love clutter. So we've got a little bit of clutter. We didn't want to go too much overboard. And then her bedroom, you can see we've got the bedroom all looking snazzy and things. Uh, her favorite perfumes. And we fixed up her laundry laundry area. Uh, so yeah, this all looks good. Too bad this stuff isn't really in the game. And, you know, this is CC and all. But why can't we get clutter like this? Why can't we get clutter like this, yay? Hmm? Hmm? Why can't we have stackable towels, yay? What? What? Why can't we put stacked towels in cabinets, yay? Yep. I'm just saying is all. I'm just saying. <laughs> this is the kind of clutter that I want to see in my game. Like real books that look like this, you know? That's the kind of stuff I want to see in the game. Uh, this is my, my CC. But, um, and so is this. But anyways, yeah. So uh, she's all set with her apartment. She's been making a few dollars and uh, looks like everything is good. She's minty fresh, had a smooth sip and drink. So she's ready to start her day. She's actually got to go to the office today. They're having a meeting. Um, they are having a meeting about a office party because uh, Simlish wants to celebrate, um, <clears throat> excuse me, 1 million subscribers online. So they're going to um, have a party at the office, maybe not at the office, but they're going to have a party to celebrate 1 million subscribers. So we're going to go ahead and have her head over to the office. Um, it is fairly early, but she does like to get there early to see if um, she can pick up any assignments. And yeah, that's about it. We'll be back in just a moment. I do want to apologize to you guys about uh, the episodes of Calendar Girl. They've been kind of sporadic, haven't they? They're normally Calendar Girl is scheduled to come out on Thursday. And I had just been kind of off with my schedule the last few weeks. And she's been showing up just kind of willy-nilly on a Saturday, on a Monday, what have you. But we are definitely pushing for it our Thursdays again. So I do thank you guys for being patient with me while I go through all these changes. But hopefully we'll get back on a regular schedule. Um, yeah, and the last time we left off, we had hooked up Corey with one of our guy friends, which just so happens to be Aaron. And let's get everybody to the, why is, oh, oops, wrong club side dish that would have been awkward started the gathering here um so she's a little early no one showed up and this is her favorite spot so i'm gonna have her pick up a gig while we're waiting see what is available but um yeah so we're here to have this party and this is a perfect opportunity for her to do some matchmaking because there's some eligible bachelors we got this guy here, Xavier, which is her boss. And Xavier is cute. I don't care what anybody says. Xavier is cute, but he is, he is hands off. He is not allowed. We can't be dating our boss. Um, and then there's Ethan. Ethan is new. Ethan Malone. And he is from Scotland. And he's got the sexy Scottish accent. And, um, you know, Harmony... She just has a thing about not dating people that she works with, but you know, he, 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 uh, he's, he's pretty tempting. Um, she's keeping him in the back of her mind in her little black book back there, but, um, she wants to try to fix him up with somebody. I forgot who we said we were going to try to fix him up with. I think we said Dosi. I think we said Dosi. I'm not sure, but we did meet someone else on, on the, gameplay offline and his name is Kian and Kian has a little girl and he's really cute and I'm thinking he might be the perfect person I don't know about Dosi because Dosi is on some suspect stuff um just to give you guys a refresher we went to Dosi's house and she's got a big old server in her house and she admitted to being a hacker um I don't know exactly what that's all about but I don't really want to fix her up with a single father um that might not be <laughs> good idea 
um, until we know exactly what she's doing. Um, yeah. All right. So where is everybody? Did, did anyone show up? I don't see anybody. Do y'all? Okay. Here's Ethan. Ethan's here. And I don't know who this dude is. It's a librarian. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Let's, let's, uh, come over here and talk to Ethan a little bit. Greet him. Give him a heartfelt compliment. Be nice too. Don't be flirting. Just just give him a compliment. Uh, hey, hey, Ethan, guys. how's it going? Nice to see you. Ask if he's a mermaid. No, let's um, let's praise our boss, Xavier. Xavier's a really nice guy. How are you liking it so far? Oh, it's really awesome. I'm so glad I got this gig. I've been <laughs> trying to make money as a photographer for a long time, and Simlish is like a lifesaver. Well, I'm glad to. Um, Glad to know that you like it here so far. So uh, you're one of the writers that work from home. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, we don't need to ask about his career. We know what he does. He's a photographer here. Uh, let's share some of our photos with him. He get Let's get um, a honest professional opinion from him about our photos. So I took these pictures the other day. I know they're just, they're not, they're not professional, but what do you think about them? No, really. But if you ever want some, some tips on taking better photos and things like that, I will be happy to help you out. Oh, that would be great. No, Harmony. No, girl. Hey, I heard you became friends with Aylin Spicer. She's pretty cool. Who? Who was Aylin, mom? Um, okay. Well, everyone's supposed to meet up here. Let's. Let's do that. Let's sit and chat here, everyone. Everyone. That means everyone. Okay, we finally get, are getting some work done, sort of. Everybody's kind of milling about. But um, we're here to discuss the, um, the celebration for the party. Or the celebration. Yeah, we're here to discuss the, the party. And uh, we're going to try to figure out where we're going to have it. I'm not sure. I'm thinking this office building is not going to be, be big enough to hold a, a, a large party. Here comes Xavier looking sexy. Look at him. He is such a cutie pie. Oh, he is so cute. I'm sorry, but girl, give him an introduction. How come you haven't introduced yourself to your boss yet? Um, he is so cute. Yes, we're all, apparently we're the only ones that really care. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and have this party. And I'm thinking that in a couple of weeks, we should make it a formal affair and get catering and such. Um, come back over here. What are you doing? All right. Well, meetings adjourned. We've decided that we're going to have this meeting. Have this meeting. We're going to have this party in a couple of weeks. We've got to find a venue, of course, and a caterer. Hopefully there's some good caterers in town and maybe some entertainment. What do you guys think? Oh, Mayche, glad that you joined us. Xavier must be busy. Yeah, so I think we've just got to figure out what our our um, budget is and go from there. This is going to be the biggest party event um, in San Mishuno. What? He didn't know that Xavier was the boss? How do you not know that? Aaron, what are you doing, dude? What is he doing? What is he doing? What the heck? Anyways, okay, yeah, Xavier's in here working. He is so cute. I'm sorry. Let me just... He came in here super casual, too. Look at him. Flip-flops on... Mm -hmm. He might be a potential, maybe. If we decide to break our rule of dating at the office, he could be a potential. Anyways, um, so what happened between you guys? Well, okay. I went over his house the other day and I tried to talk to him because I wanted to know what was going on. He's just been standoffish and he hasn't been honest with me. I know that for a fact. And, well... He was Adam. He didn't respond to any of my questions. As a matter of fact, he left me at his house to go to work. I mean, he didn't even tell me to leave. Okay. I mean, that's a good thing. He trusts you to stay in his house. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I went snooping around. You snooped. Yeah, I did. And what'd you find? 
I found women's clothing. Oh my gosh. Is he seeing someone? I don't know. I have no idea who he's, if he's seen someone, if he's married. It didn't look like there was like any other signs except for a few clothes. So I don't think he's married, but maybe he's seen someone who's just left some things at his house. But then why would he have you leave? Why would he keep you there? Um, or let you stay? He was in a rush. I don't know. She hungry? She's hungry. All right. Well, that just means we need to go out to eat. Because, I mean, that's what we do. We go out to eat every every episode. We go out to eat. So we will do that. Um, we'll go ahead and invite Meiji out. Um, see if she wants to go out to lunch. And maybe we can grab up our girl, Dosi. Wait a minute now. Noni, girl, what? Look at Noni. Oh my gosh. Girl, where have you been hiding that body? Girl, you are, look at you. Aunt, girl, she looks like an African queen. Look at her. Oh my gosh. She is gorgeous. Okay. She's been hiding under them blazers. <laughs> That's what the problem is. We had no idea. All right, we're so we're at Georgia's. This is our spot. You guys know this is our spot. Um, you know, we have to take, get our table. So let's go ahead and do that now. Everybody's changed their clothes. Why? Oh, she changed back into her blazer. Oh, that was short lived. I mean, she still looks cute in her blazer. She, for some reason, she reminds me of my mom. I don't know why. I guess it's the look. Cause this is something my mom would wear. No joke. This is, look at Dosi. Dosi is, oh, hello, Xavier. Mm, mm. Oh, must be nosy. What are they, what are they talking about? <laughs> what are they talking about? Is she flirty? She is. Okay. You guys, I think I know who I'm going to hook Meche up with. I know it's a bad idea. It is to hook her up with the boss, but they're cute together. And I think he likes her. Look how he's looking at her. He's, he's stupid likes her. I don't even know what that means. But he likes her. He, look at him cheesing. He can't stop grinning. Oh, he likes her for real, for real. Okay, we are definitely hooking Meche up with Xavier. Let's order our food. <laughs> now that we've got Aaron to ourselves, let's um, find out what's going on between him and Corey. Because inquiring minds want to know. Let us ask him about Corey. Because they've been hanging tough ever since that little phone call we made to him. I want to see what he thinks about her. If not, if they haven't talked, then I'm definitely going to seal the deal tonight with them by talking her up. But, um, is he... Okay. He hasn't had the pleasure of meeting her. Okay. Well, guess what, sir? I We're going to go ahead and rectify that right now. And we're going to... Hook you up with her. We can't hook you up with her. Um. Okay, wait. Let's see. Uh, talk up another sim. Okay. Talk up Corey. Why are you tense? Of course. Stranger danger. You're with friends. Girl, you know everybody here. She comes here often. At oh, wow. I love to get to know her. You definitely do. She's like your type. You're both creative. She's an actress. She's gorgeous. She's super sweet. You would think that she was stuck up, but she really isn't. I think you guys would get along really well. Tell him, Dosi. Yeah, he's she's really cool. I think you would like her a lot, even though Dosi's kind of feeling Aaron. I've been seeing her peeping him. Oh, look at Ethan over here. Actually, Ethan's been googling. Um, googling? Is that is that is that it's oogling? <laughs> It's not Googling. <laughs> Ethan's been oogling one of y'all. I don't know who it is, but he's been oogling. I'm saying that word so I can get it in my head because it's not Googling. He's been eyeing one of y'all, and I don't know who it is. Maybe maybe it's not. Maybe it's um. 
maybe it's Noni. I don't know. Noni's a beautiful woman. Let me let me see if I can see where his uh, his his point of vision is. Okay. I'm thinking it might be Noni. I don't know. But then again, it could be Meiji. It could be anybody. Okay, Meiji, we have to hook you up. Look, look, look. She came over here to sit. She came over here to sit next to Xavier. Uh-huh. Look at him. He's all happy that she's sitting there. She's trying to play it off. You know you like him, girl. I'm going to ask about him later. Harmony is all up in this. She sees it. She's acting like she doesn't see it, but she sees it. She is way too observant about things like this to not notice that her girl is feeling their boss and her boss is feeling him. They, they're they just <laughs> too shy. Look at him. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> so I'm skimming around, you know, and lo and behold, look at this, you guys. They're in the vestibule or in the hallway chatting, pretending to talk about writing, but we know what he's trying to write down was a number. Do people still write numbers down? They probably don't. People people call each other now, but this is, uh, yeah. Look, mm-hmm, I see y'all trying to play it off. Don't think just because you guys are in this corner, we don't know what's really going on. We're going to see you both come out of this corner together. Suspect. All right. We're going to go ahead and head back home. It's getting late. Okay, we're back. Um, we came over here to look at digging some, digging a box, look for snow globes. I don't know why I was doing that. But um, we saw Cairo walking down the street looking sad as for, just all get out. But we... Sorry about that. We came over to ask him, hey, Giada, we came over to ask him if he wanted to hang out. Um, I feel like we really need to start working on a relationship with him. Um, we need to let him know that we did go ahead and break it off with Adam. I'm so glad to see you. I, you've actually been on my mind. Oh, I'm glad um, that you've been thinking about me as was thinking about you. How's it been going? Uh, it's been okay. I'm just kind of down. There's a gig that I was trying to get, music gig, and I didn't get it. Oh, it's going to be okay. You know what? Let's cheer him up. It's like, it's okay, Cairo. You know, you'll have plenty of opportunities. You're a good musician from what I heard, and I, I just know you'll, you'll find the perfect um, music gig. And then you know, it'll, you'll hit it big one day. I believe in that. I'm glad someone believes in me. You believe in you, don't you? Yeah, I do. Just not today. Oh, poor guy. Look at all these fashionable Sims walking past us. Um, Cairo, since you're here, let's go. Oh, there's, um, Karina. Since you're here, let's, um, Let's go hang out. What do you think? Let's just go somewhere. Let's just, how would you like to go to Brendleton Bay with me? Really? Yeah, I, my parents. Oh, you know what? Let's take a picture together. We haven't done that. I don't think we have. We might have. We probably did. But I want to take another picture with him. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Um, I mean, take a picture. Take a picture. There we go. Let's take a picture with him. And, oh, she's awesome looking um uh, yeah i wanted to take you to brindleson bay to meet my parents oh look okay i'm liking that i'm liking that a lot they look so cute yes yes give me looks give me <laughs> give me sass <laughs> give me happiness <laughs> I, yeah, maybe, maybe we should just go ahead and take him to, is it too early though? Is it too early for him to go and meet our parents? I mean, we're not officially having him meet our parents, but looky dozy. Oh, okay. I thought say she's going to her mailbox, but I still think it's a great idea that he just gets out of the city. So let's do it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. It's okay, Cairo. My parents won't bite. I promise you. Yeah, I'm not going to lie and say that I'm not nervous about meeting your parents. 
They're cool people, I promise you. We're just here to, you know, come visit. I haven't seen them in a while, and I think it was just high time that you got out of the city, right? I know you live in Willow Creek, but you haven't been to Brindleton Bay. And this is where I come to, you know, just regroup. And I think you need that. So let's go see if they're home. You mean you didn't call? No, I never call. I always just pop up. Besides, did she win the lottery? Oh, I was <laughs> like... I was like tripping. Like, oh my goodness, she won the lottery. Okay, let's see if mom and dad are home. It looks like they might be. Um, yes, no, maybe not. Okay, mom's downstairs. All right, let's go come down here and greet mom. And I don't know if Cairo is actually going to come in or not. I don't, he's still out here. He's out here playing music. He is really nervous about coming in here. Mom, why don't you come here and chat? Because he's obviously not going to come inside. Um, he's a little old-fashioned, and he feels like this might be just a bad idea. Because what does it indicate when someone is come, has you meet their parents? They're not quite serious yet. I mean, they're on the verge of something special. But it's, yeah, ooh. That relationship has gone down a little bit. Probably because he's a little freaked out about the fact that she brought him to see, to meet her parents. And it really wasn't like that. She just felt like he needed to get out of the, the city. Mom isn't really all that responsive. And, you know, they wouldn't be because her parents are geniuses. They work hard and they, you know, they're brainiacs. And they tolerate her being a creative, but I don't know how they feel about her dating a uh, broke musician. Let's give him a bold pickup line. Let's try to rekindle this relationship. He's in a playful mood, so maybe he will... Um... Okay, awesome. Asked to move in. Girl, no. Blow him a kiss. Let's get that flirt line up because we really want to work in this relationship and we don't want him to feel like we're trying to pressure him into anything. I just wanted you to um, get out of the house and I wanted you to, you know, come here and veg out. Oh, girl. Yes. Work it. <laughs> and um, just a regroup. I don't want you to feel like I'm pressuring you. I know you didn't, but I felt like that and... Okay, you know we got to go for it, right? First kiss, we have to go for it. Oh my gosh, she didn't even kiss Adam. So this is her very first, well, it's not her first kiss. Okay, he was like, all right, I'll go here and meet your peers. <laughs> After that kiss, <laughs> girl, what you want me to do? <laughs> you want to meet your dad meet your mom cook him dinner let's try to make it official no more beating around the bush no more um tete a tete let's make it official because you like him he likes you he came out here oh okay that maybe we're moving a little too fast okay 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 back on up okay you took that you took that Okay, we don't want to push them too far. Um, let's discuss gourmet dishes. All right, see if he's hungry. Maybe maybe you can fix him something to eat while you're at your parents' house. <sighs> Let your parents just chill out down there. Let's not pressure him into meeting our father. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Is he going to go in here and play the piano? No, he went back outside. Cairo, which boy... Why are you outside? Where are you going? Is he going to go swim? No. Is he leaving? He left. <gasps> he left. Why? Maybe this was too much for him. It might have been. I, I feel like Cairo was a little pressured. He was not feeling this, even though he likes her and he was flirting with her. 
but he still felt really uncomfortable, especially since they had their first kiss in front of her parents' house. So that was a bit too much for him, and he's extremely old-fashioned, um, and she just does not understand that. So we're going to go over Cairo's house and see if we can make it, make it up to him, because we definitely did not want to put him in a situation where he felt uncomfortable, and um, I we did. I mean, most prob most people probably would be. So she did overdo it, and she feels extremely bad about it. So give your mom a hug. Mom, I'm really sorry I'm going to have to cut this really short. Well, was, I'm glad you did stop by, but um, you need to come by more often, baby girl. Don't be so scarce. You don't live in the house anymore. We need to see your face more often. I will, Mom, I promise. But I've got to get going. I've got to go check on Cairo. All right, you do that, and I'll talk to you later. Hey, Cree. Hey, girl. Um, discuss interests. She went in the house. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Before you go inside, I need to know something. Is is Cairo mad at me? Is he mad? She looks mad. Is she? Is he mad at me? Uh, yes and no. He did say that you took him over at your parents' house and things got a little awkward. Also, I heard that you guys kissed. We did, and yes, I did. I I thought taking him to Brendleton Bay would help him get out of his slump. It's a beautiful town, and, you know, it just inspires people. It inspires me, and I thought it would inspire him. Knock on the door. Um... She didn't invite us in, <laughs> so we're gonna have to knock. Uh, Cairo's sitting right there on the on the in the chair. Oh, she's over here cooking. All right, girl. Let's say hi. Oh, she's tired. Okay. Let's come over here and talk about the weather. Yes, we're gonna talk about the weather. We're gonna brighten his day. Uh, did he just walk away from us? No, he didn't. Okay. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. Oh. Really? Okay, we could take this elsewhere. We had a big ticket in the bathroom. Look, I just came over here. I wanted to apologize about taking you over my parents' house. Hey, look, it's okay. I just was uncomfortable, and I didn't like the situation I was in, and I know I should have said goodbye, but I didn't want to go in the house. It was just awkward. I'm a really traditional guy, Harmony, and I felt like... I felt like I was intruding. I wasn't ready for that. And then I felt disrespectful by kissing your kissing you in front of your parents, in front of your parents' house. I I get it. I'm sorry. I rushed things. I I messed up. And I what am I doing? I don't know. I'm not good at this, Cairo. I I'm just not. I usually don't feel this way about anyone not this fast and you're the first guy in a long time that i've wanted to be around that i wanted to try to make take things seriously with and i'm not going to lie i'm extremely scared you're scared i'm scared it's been a long time since i felt like this about anyone i've never felt this way about anyone he is he's very very old-fashioned so we don't want to push our push his buttons too far really we're gonna go kiss in the bathroom oh she's gonna use the bathroom i was about to say come on <laughs> this is gross <clears throat> he's gonna use the restroom too all right well we're not going to push it anymore i think that was um our cue to let it go um, so we're going to come out of the bathroom, let him go ahead and take care of his business. But I want to go ahead and, and end the episode here. Let me know what you guys think about the relationship between Harmony and Cairo. Uh, do you think Harmony's trying to push Cairo a little too quickly, knowing that he is very old-fashioned? He is a Southern gentleman, and he does not go into relationship lightly. Um, and Harmony isn't one that takes her relationships all that seriously considering how often she switches up but this is the first guy that she's ever felt this close to and wanted to um be this close to so 
she's going to try to push a little bit harder than she normally would. Um, and she really likes her sister. And she's feeling like this place is, feels like home to her. It's not the Brindleton Bay, but it's close enough. Look how beautiful this town is. She can see herself being here, even though this is a small house and, I mean, this is, what, a two-bedroom house? Yeah, it's pretty tiny. But, um, anyways, he's tired. All right, so we're going to go ahead and end it here. But before we go, you know what the time it is. If you're not a member of the family and you'd like to come to the family union, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload, I upload at least three times a week and sometimes more. So I will talk to you later, guys. And until next time, ciao.